today we will be going to discuss about the plant cell and the animal cell we are going to differentiate between the plant cell and the animal cell the very first difference between the plant cell and the animal cell is that the first one cell wall as you know very well in plants plant cell wall is covered by rigid cellulosic cell wall in addition to cell wall cell membrane also present cell membrane present which is present just below the cell wall okay but what about the animal cell here cell wall absent only flexible cell membrane present so the outermost membrane here is the cell membrane cell membrane present this is the first point of the differentiation between the plant cell and the animal cell the second point of differentiation is the chloroplast and other plastids as we know that chloroplast and plastids chloroplast and other plastids are present it is the feature of the plant cell while here chloroplast chloroplast and other plastids absent okay now the next point is the nucleus now the nucleus in plant cell nucleus is present near periphery nucleus is present near periphery now the question arises why because here what happens that in a plant cell a large vacuole is present so nucleus is present near periphery because of the presence of because of presence of a large vacuole okay while here the nucleus is present at center nucleus present at center as the vacuoles are small okay and that's why the nucleus is present at the center so we can make another point that is the vacuole vacuole okay here we will say large single vacuole present large single vacuole present here multiple small vacuoles present okay and also you must remember that here in the case of the animal cell contractile vacuole contractile vacuole and food vacuole present okay while here in the case of the plant cell contractile vacuole contractile vacuole and food vacuole absent so this is another point of difference next we have discussed about the cell wall chloroplast okay chloroplast and plastids nucleus vacuole now coming to the next point and that is known as the next one we can take it as reserve food material reserve food 
material that what is the reserve food material in the case of the plant cell so in the case of the plant cell the reserve food material is as we know very well it is the starch okay what about the animal cell in the case of the animal cell the reserve food material is glycogen the reserve food material is glycogen next centriole and centrosome as we know very well that centrosome centrioles are present in the centrosome so centriole and centrosome centriole and centrosome absent centriole and centrosome absent in higher plant cells now i am putting a note here they may be present they may be present in lower plants they may be present in lower plants okay but centrioles and centrosome are present in the animal cell it is the peculiar feature so we can write here centrioles and centrosome centrioles and centrosome present okay so we have taken six points here cell wall chloroplast and other plastids nucleus vacuole okay reserve food material centriole and centrosome now coming to the next few points about the differences between the plant cell and the animal cell coming to the seventh point point number 7 now spindle now we know very well spindles are formed during cell division during cell division what are formed spindles are formed but here the spindles are n astral type n astral spindles are n astral why n astral because we know very well that centrioles are absent here now from centrioles what arise ester rays and from esters from the ester rays spindle fibers are formed so here the centrioles are absent so no ester rays will arise and hence the plant cell is having what type of the spindles and astral spindles okay and here you can see that they are having amphi astral amphi astral what spindles why amphi astral because they have centrioles from centrioles what arise asterase and hence it is a astral okay astral we can say it is amphi astral spindles are formed okay next glyoxisomes now what are glyoxisomes glyoxisomes are micro bodies glyoxisomes are micro bodies found in the cell okay so in plant cell glyoxisomes are present are present in seed cells okay glyoxisomes are present in seed cell while in the case of the animals glyoxisomes absent there are no glyoxisomes in the case of the animal cell okay next now plasmodesmata plasmodesmata these are cytoplasmic connections between the two cells and plasmodesmata are also always found in the case of the plant cell okay they are associated with the cell wall so we can say that plasmodesmata are present here plasmodesmata present and here plasmo desmeta absent plasmo desmeta absent ha huh. we can say that other connections present other connections present 
ओके अदर कनेक्शन था प्रेजेंट ओके नेक्स्ट गोल्जी बॉडीज और गोल्जी एपरेटस और गोल्जी बॉडीज गोल्जी बॉडीज और गोल्जी एपरेटस गोल्जी बॉडीज आर डिस्टिंक्ट एंड फाउंड नियर न्यूक्लियस गोल्जी बॉडीज आर डिस्टिंक्ट एंड आर फाउंड नियर न्यूक्लियस हियर वी विल से गोल्जी बॉडीज गोल्जी बॉडीज हियर सी हियर दैट इज गोल्जी बॉडीज आर डिस्टिंक्ट एंड फाउंड नियर द न्यूक्लियस बट हियर दे आर कॉल्ड एज बट फाउंड नियर न्यूक्लियस बट आर कॉल्ड एज बट आर कॉल्ड एज बट आर कॉल्ड एज डिक्टियोसोम्स बट आर कॉल्ड एज डिक्टियोसोम नाउ सी हियर Here, in the case of Golgi bodies, well developed. Golgi bodies, well developed. Okay. Here, Golgi bodies are not distinct, but not so much distinct. Here, they are very much well developed. Here, they are not so much clear, and they are found near the nucleus, but are called as dictyosomes. Golgi bodies are here well developed. Here, the Golgi bodies are very much well developed. Okay. Next is the cytokinesis. साइटोकाइनेसिस मीन्स वॉट साइटोप्लाज्म डिविजन नाउ साइटोप्लाज्म डिविजन इन द केस ऑफ द प्लांट सेल साइटोकाइनेसिस अकर इन द प्लांट सेल बाय विच मेथड सेल प्लेट मेथड इट अकर्स बाय विच मेथड सेल प्लेट मेथड ओके इट अकर्स बाय सेल प्लेट मेथड एंड शियर साइटोकाइनेसिस अकर बाय सेल फरो सेल फरो मेथड ओके सो देर आर टू मोड्स ऑफ द साइटोप्लास डिविजन सेल प्लेट मेथड इन द केस ऑफ द प्लांट सेल एंड सेल फरो मेथड इन द केस ऑफ द एनिमल सेल ओके सो दिस वॉज वन मोर डिफरेंस बेस्ड ऑन द साइटो काइनेसिस ओके सो वन मोर पॉइंट अबाउट द न्यूट्रिशन that what type of nutrition is found what type of nutrition is found in them okay so nutrition we know very well that plant cells can prepare their own food so they are auto tropic can prepare their own food can prepare their own food but they are animal cells are hetero tropic animal cells are heterotrophic can't prepare their food can't prepare their food can't prepare their food one more micro body is present spherosome spherosome what is spherosome spherosome is also a micro body spherosome is also a micro body and it is found in present in present in plant cell they are present in plant cell and they are absent here absent in animal cell they are absent in animal cell and the last point a lysosome very less in number very less in number and here lysosomes are many in number lysosomes are many in number okay so dear students these were the differences between the plant cell and the animal cell keep watching my videos